All right, hey, hey, it's Omega here, and this is the show and tell video for the Peak Design phone mount. All right, so I'm, I'm, ch I'm changing my phone mount on my motorcycle. All right, so this is gonna go on the motorcycle channel. However, I, I need a mount that's compatible with the mounts that are on my uh, my Rav4, my my car. So, so, uh, so those mounts use a magnet. All right, on my. Uh, on my Super Cub or my motorcycles, all right, I use the ram mount system accompanied with the slip grip, all right? I already, I got one right here also, <laughs> okay? And, uh, and yeah, so uh, um, one problem I've been having is I have an LG V60, all right? It's um, the last LG phone ever uh, built, right, by LG or sold by LG. And I've had the camera module fail twice already, all right? Um, I, it failed. I replaced it myself and then it failed again and I'm going to replace it again soon, all right? So before that, I invested in another a different phone mount, all right? A phone mount that has a vibration dampening system, all right? There's a couple there's a couple systems out there and one of them is one of them is the uh, one of them is the quad lock system, all right? And I kind of didn't like that one. Uh, I've never used it. I've always used the slip grip and I, I like how this one you just it just slips in there. You can put it in there. You know, you don't have to do anything funky with the phone to get it in there, right? So it's in the mount right now, okay? Um, and it just so happens like my last slip. Well, I, I have I ordered two slip grip mounts. It's a custom. So what the slip grip is? It's a custom mount for your phone, all right? The phone. Um, the it it's kind of I think it's made out of Kydex and it's formed just for your phone. So you have to order it for model specific, right? Well, um, they don't have they don't have a special case, all right. Uh, Peak Design doesn't have a special case for LG V60 because it's an obsolete phone, all right. Nobody wants to make phones for a company that doesn't make phones anymore, all right. So, um, so I have to I have to adapt their. They have a universal mounting system, all right, and that's what this is, all right. It's a it's a universal mount that you stick on any phone case, and it should allow you to use their their. Uh, their phone mount, all right. And so the good thing about this is the um, it already has the vibration dampening uh, built into it, all right. And so that's what I'm going to be using on the motorcycle, and only the motorcycle, unfortunately. Um, I I thought about just going straight, you know, replacing all my mounts with something like this. Unfortunately, um, the mount that's on my phone and my Rav4 are not are, are not compatible, all right. I I've already checked it, all right. So anyway. Let's go take a look at what we got here right now, and then I'll, I'll go over wh why I'm doing this the way I am, <laughs> okay? Basically, we just need to get it so uh, we can get vibration dampening for our phone, all right, vibration protection for our phone for uh, a motorcycle mount, all right? I've never used one before, and this is my first time gonna use it, all right? I've never had a phone camera module get damaged, all right, by vibrations from a motorcycle, all right? Uh, until I got this freaking phone, all right? So this must be, it's a common problem with this phone from what I've heard, all right? And the problem with my Super Cup is it vibrates a whole lot. It's a freaking thumper and it, it vibrates a lot. And I'm pretty, I'm, I'm almost certain that this, this bike is what destroyed my phone's camera module, <laughs> okay? So let's go take a look at uh, the Peak Design stuff and I'll show you how I'm gonna um, get it to work with everything, all right? Okay, so here's what I got. All right, we're gonna do. Uh, we'll take a look at close look at the items, and then uh, and then we'll uh, take them out of the box. All right. So this is a one inch ball adapter. All right. Um, and guess what's compatible with one inch balls? The ram mount stuff. All right. So I'm planning to use this with a ram mount. All right. Um, and this guy costs 50 bucks. Not cheap. All right. But like I mentioned, it has a vibration dampening uh, damper, vibration damper built into it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's what it looks like. So it attaches to a, a, a ram ball mount or a one inch ball mount that I already have on the um, Honda Super Cub and all my other motorcycles. All right, so the so I could theoretically I could just move this between bikes. All right, if I want to use the phone mount, okay, um, like really easily. All you'd have to do is unscrew the ball and then mount it onto something else. All right, and then it would add vibration dampening to that uh, ram mount system. Okay, okay, so there it is. And then I've got this. This is the uh, universal adapter, all right? So um, normally you gotta buy a special phone case, all right? Like the like the quad lock. I think the quad lock and MagSafe and all that stuff 
they need you to buy a specific uh, case for your phone, all right? And I have an LG V60, and it is uh, obsolete now. So um, they don't make any cases or anything for that phone. So um, to get around that, we use a universal adapter, right? So what this is, it's a, it's a, it got a stick-on pad, and uh, it sticks onto the back of your current phone case, okay? Just like that. All right, and then it, so it's compatible with this guy, all right? So... This is the one that goes on the phone. This is the one that goes on the bike. Okay, pretty simple. Okay. All right. Uh, so this was thirty dollars from Amazon, and this was fifty dollars from Amazon. So totals, I, I've invested like eighty dollars into this. So um, I will put a link in the description of the video if you want to purchase these guys. All right. This is pretty much what you would need um, if you already, if you currently have like a Ram ball mounts. Or using RAM ball mounts and you want to have a vibration dampening uh, phone mount then this is what you would need all right that you would need the, the actual mount that goes on the bike and the mount that will go on your phone okay if you don't have a phone that's supported all right and that, that costs $80 all right, so let's go take it out and then I'll show you why I'm gonna I'm doing this the way I do okay so I've already kind of taken them out of the box and everything but Pretty nice packaging. I heard this was like a a starter campaign before. All right, so what do we got in here? One inch. Oh, this is for this one. <laughs> okay, there's some kind of URL code. Okay, and I think this one says you know, oh universal adapter. <laughs> it's different. Oh, alignment guide. Interesting. This helps you align it, but I don't think I don't think we really need it. Okay, and they're a climate neutral company. All right, they try to not add to the uh, uh, global warming. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, they got a bunch of stickers. The other one didn't have anything like that. <laughs> That's odd. Oh, okay, there's a cleaning pad. Uh, this is for this, I guess, and then. They have a lifetime warranty on their products. All right, if it fails or repair or needs to be replaced, they'll replace it for free. All right, that's that's a lot better than some other companies like Electro and Company. All right, they sell you garbage product that breaks their stuff right away, and they got a cool sticker. I'm about probably put this on the Super Cub case <laughs> since that's the that's the main uh, vehicle I will be using it with the Super Cub. If I wanted to just make it so this this phone case would work. I could just take this, um, uh, the magnetic mount here, all right, this is designed to go, it's a, it's a steel plate that connects to a magnetic mount, like the Bracketron that's in my RAV4. Um, I could just rip this off and then stick this on there, pretty easy, okay. As you can see, it's magnetic. It actually sticks to this. Is it strong enough to hold it up? You just barely, man. It's not strong at all. Oh, this side, eh, I don't know. But it's it's somewhat magnetic. I don't know where all the magnets are and everything, but the magnets aren't very strong. All right, I think the only thing the magnets do is it helps align the uh, uh, keep keep it aligned in the place. All right, it, it's just a support. That's all it is. Okay, so basically you would just take this out and stick it on there like this one is on there right now. Okay, but unfortunately uh, it's not compatible with the mounts inside the car. This will not stick to the mounts on the car. Okay, so that that's what it is. All right, and then this is the actual phone mount right here, all right, that goes on the motorcycle. So the way it works is uh, it's got these claws here, all right, that hold your phone in place, and then there's some magnets on there that hold it. All right, this goes to your RAM mount. You can see here, okay, so you can see here um, there's a vibration dampening, right, see? See how it's like, it's kind of like a gimbal, sort of? Okay, hopefully that'll be enough to protect my phone, okay? <laughs> So this moves independent of this, all right? So there's a little uh, shock absorption system built into this, all right? And that's what I—that's what we need, guys, all right? Um, and so this would mount on this, all right? Just like that, all right? And it's already locked into place, okay? To, to release it, there's these um, um, but, like buttons that you gotta depress over here, and it lets it loose. You gotta peel it off. Pretty strong. It sticks. It's, the the magnet is pretty strong. I don't know why it won't stick to my Bracketron uh, magnets very well, but it, it sticks to this pretty well. See see how easily it it goes in there. Okay, but if I 
stick it on there and I pull on it, it won't come off. Okay. It has a hard time. You can you can feel it. It's trying to come off, but it, it won't come off because the claws are keeping it on there. All right. So it's got like a double retention system. All right. It has the magnets and the claws to hold it in. Okay. And so yeah, this is our vi this is the secret sauce here, the vibration dampening. Right. It's built into that. So um, what are you going to do if it doesn't work? Okay. So I'll show you why I'm not going to use it on my uh, for I'm not going to use it directly on my phone case. All right. But that's one way you could do it. All right. If you if you wanted to buy into the whole peak design setup okay, so and herein lies the problem it's not compatible with the, my current phone mount all right my current phone mount is compatible with the bracketron mounts okay okay so i'm using a bracketron magnetic mount all right so my phone my phone has a metal plate on the back of it all right and i have two of them all right i have one here and here I've got some crazy uh, um, phone mount set up in my RAV4, all right, guys. <laughs> um, and then it just sticks on there like that, all right? And it has a cradle, too, just in case it wants to fall down. And all I have to do is peel it off, all right? Pretty nice. And if the magnet is super strong, man. It's not coming off. It's not coming off easily. <laughs> and it's got the cradle to, um, to thing it. All right, so on the other one, so this is the mount. Um, if we stick this on the phone, it's not, str it's not strong enough to hold it on there, see? It only holds it in a certain place. So the magnets must be only on the corners or something. So your phone would sit kind of funky like that. And I don't, I don't think it'll hold it. The magnets just aren't strong enough. They're just they're not in the right place to work with this mount. And it'll be kind of crooked, see? It's not holding it at all. all right? I, I, only on the edges, I guess only on the edges is where the, the metal is. All right, it seems like both of them are magnetic too. But it's not going to work, all right? That's If I put it on the back of my phone and I try to stick it on this, it's not going to work, all right? It'll be, like, crooked like that. I mean, I guess it could work, but not really. It'll be, like, not good, all right? So uh, what we're going to do is adapt the slip grip. Okay, so, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this slip grip, all right? What we're going to do is we're going to add this mount onto the slip grip. I know, so it's, like, it's kind of a weird setup. But we're going to still use the slip grip to mount the phone all right guys but we're gonna have we're gonna use this it's already connected to it <laughs> we're gonna connect this to this all right guys all right we're gonna use the universal mount on the slip grip and then we're just gonna mount the phone to the slip grip so basically what it's gonna do is gonna replace it's gonna replace the ball mount that's on the slip grip with the peak design with the peak design phone mount all right it's quite a bit it's a little bit thicker. That's actually, it's almost the same. Yeah, it's a little bit thicker, but not too much. So I'm gonna say, hopefully the ball is pretty good, pretty good quality. These tend to wear out, so I'm gonna say. It looks like, it looks pretty good. It, it, it's really rubbery, so hopefully it won't move as much. <laughs> and I have problems with this mount moving all the time, but hopefully with the vibration dampening, it'll keep this from moving, all right? Um, so basically it'll add vibration dampening to our slip grip. Unfortunately, the slip grip doesn't have anything like that. All right. So slip grip, you need to make something like that. All right. Because people's phones are like breaking and shit. So, <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, that's the plan. The plan. Uh, so I've had this slip grip that it fell apart on me. All right. And I was thinking of sending it back to slip grip or, or just sticking it back on. But I thought, you know what? We could use this. All right. So basically, um, let me see if I got the part that broke off. Anyway, the part that broke off is this part right here. All right, there's a, there's kind of a plastic, it's kind of a plastic dealie right here that broke off. Cause it's like, it's been glued on there. It's been bolted and glued on there. And, um, and the glue came off, all right. Um, it's supposed to fuse it on there. So um, there's supposed to be another plate on here, all right? And then we can't put it on if if it has that plate and well i guess we could it, it's it looks like it would fit well, what hayes mega is going to do is we're going to grind this until it's flat and smooth all right it has to be flat and smooth so we're going to grind all this adhesive off and try to make this as flat as possible all right it's, there's going to be some holes sticking out here that's okay don't worry, don't worry about that <laughs> all right but it's going to be on there like a blam like that all right so and then we're just going to mount this onto that and boom you have instant uh vibration dampening and i'm still using the good old slip grip okay so um and then so that just turns our slip grip into a vibration has a vibration dampener on it all right so hopefully 
that works okay guys so i'm gonna go ahead and do it and then uh then yeah i'll show you what i got and then i'll let you know if uh, my phone survives all right <laughs> we'll, we'll go repair the change we'll change the cap uh camera module out and then we'll go ahead and uh we'll go ahead and uh, um, install this and hopefully the camera module will last longer um the last one i installed lasted only two months guys <laughs> so I, I i hope uh hopefully i can get a longer life out of the camera module with this all right here's we go okay, so here are the instructions for the universal adapter all right figure i should go over that before i went and installed it um so there's the instructions it says see included alignment guide for detailed installations to instructions for proper bond, wait 24 hours before use. Okay, so make sure it's on there. That's okay, I'm not really using it anyways. So, it's, like I said, it's a second slip grip that I have. This adapter is not intended to be reused. Okay, so it's a one-time dealy. So it's gonna like permanently bond it down there. So if it comes off, don't use it again. <laughs> or you replace the adhesive, I guess. Uh, so the compatibility, it's compatible with smooth, hard plastic cases like PC and TPU. Okay, I, I think... Uh, I think it's like Kydex, somewhere like somewhere something like that. Porous, textured, or soft touch coated cases like leather and silicone, it will not work. All right, it will not directly work on phone with no case. All right, so you can't install this on your phone without it. It has to have like a plastic case on it. All right. Well, this is plastic. Okay, guys, so that should be no problem. All right now, if it were, see how this is kind of, um, it's like a, it's kind of bumpy. Right, it's got a got a it's got a wrinkle finish on it. Probably won't adhere very well to that. All right, but it probably will on the back of this. So we just got to make sure we we clean this really well. All right, and make it as smooth as possible because you can see it's kind of it's kind of porous here. All right, we have to make it smooth like this. All right, or at least close. And then um, and then yeah. And also it tells you how to remove it. You remove by softening the adhesive with the hair dryer and slowly peel, starting at the corner. Okay, so that's how you remove it. But once you remove it, that's it, all right? You can't use it again unless you replace the adhesive. All right, and then this is the alignment dealy here. I don't think we need this, man. Um, we are just going to install this in the center, like that. Okay, where the old mount was. Because that's the way it was designed, so. And then we're going to install it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. So we're just going to install it, I guess, with the logo facing up or something. The PD logo facing up, so it's just going to go on there like that, all right? But we need to we need to prep this the backing of this so we can install this, and then we will use a uh, a heat gun to heat up the adhesive so it sticks better. Okay, guys, so that's the plan. All right, I'll let you know. I'll let you know what it looks like uh, when we. Oh, well, let's start. Uh, let's start prepping this. So I want to mention that uh, yeah, th these have a lifetime warranty. So if you ever break it or whatever. Um, uh, Peak Design will will replace it for free. Okay, so um, that's one thing I like about it. I I broken a lot of phone mounts, guys, uh, on my motorcycle. So um, we'll see how tough this is. All right, that if you have a good warranty, that that makes it. You know, that tells you that you know your product is uh, can handle punishment. <laughs> basically, all right. They're they're kind of they're they're kind of like betting on that. Like, yeah, your their product is is the best. All right, all right. Okay, I apologize for my messy work area, but uh, yeah, all, all we got to do is we got to grind this residue off, right? And we're going to use that with, do that with the Dremel uh, grinder. With uh, I'm going to start off with the uh, the more coarse um, grinding wheel, or uh, this is, um, I call it a, a grinding drum or something, all right? And then uh, we're just going to get this stuff sticking out on the side out, okay? Ooh, it doesn't, it doesn't reach there. Okay, I have to extend it <laughs> as much as I can. <laughs> okay, something like that. Not long enough. Okay. Okay, you guys get the idea, right? There you go. Okay, I worked on that for about 10 minutes. I've got all the, the big edges off, all right? And he's I really gotta work this one a little more. I can feel it a lot, all right? But yeah, it's pretty much pretty good. 
and then we got to try to smoothen this part out we're going to try to polish it um, so what we're going to do is uh, I went to a more fine grit um, cartridge all right grinding cartridge okay I went with a finer grit uh, cartridge and then we're going to try to smoothen this out more and after that we'll get the uh, the flap wheel out all right I've got a uh, 120 grit flat wheel we're gonna try to polish it as much as we can and then we got a I got a cross buff to make it even shinier okay so he's making knows how to pour and polish guys so yeah <laughs> I think that's how I learned it okay so that's what I've got done so far with the finer wheel or drum it's uh it's still pretty rough man so okay we're gonna go run the flap wheel on it see if we can get it smoother and uh then yeah Okay, it might stick to that. I don't know, but it feels like it's got some kind of adhesive. We're definitely going to have to wash it really okay, well. Okay, <laughs> we're going to hit it up with the 120 grit flap wheel. Okay, that's what it looks like after the flap wheel. All right, um, it's a lot smoother. All right, and now we're going to try the cross buff. Before right. that, uh, I'm going to try some uh, 600 grit. I know 120 to 600, that's quite a bit. Uh, maybe I should go with 400, but yeah, we'll just use a 600 grit sandpaper. I'm trying to get it even smoother. Okay. Okay, that's after the 600 grit. It's much smoother, but yeah, it's still not as smooth as this, man. So I don't know how we're gonna get to that. <laughs> all right, um, I think I'm gonna start polishing it now. Okay, and to do that, we're gonna use a cross buff, all right, on the Dremel. And I will be using a, a, a blue magic, all right, for, it's a metal polish, but it works on plastics too, so, <laughs> okay. It's gonna make, this is the messy part, all right. So hopefully we can get it. Okay. Uh, that's what it looks like shine. after polishing it with the cross buff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Maybe we should just use the, the polisher for the Dremel. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go wipe it with a microfiber cloth and buff it. And hopefully it'll come out okay. shiny. That's what it looks like after buffing it with the microfiber cloth. Uh, it's 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 really smooth, I'll tell you that. But it's not like, uh, you know, super shiny smooth like this. So I can't quite get it to, get, to match this finish, unfortunately. Uh, maybe if we hit it with some thousand grit and try polishing it again try uh but i think this is good enough okay so like i said the pad is going to cover it anyway so most of it is not going to even show okay so just this stuff which is fine okay now uh, there's going to be some hole there's some holes there that's the problem so hopefully this will be okay this won't get contaminated with dirt or something that's that's what i'm worried about and it make it make it not stick so good but a good good amount of the adhesive is going to stick on this guys so that's good all right so it's going to go on there like that i'm going to wash this with soap and water and then we'll clean it with alcohol again uh and then uh and then we'll stick it all right and then we'll be done i think it's good enough it's really smooth it's it's really smooth and it's flat it's much flatter than it was before right but that's the best i could do <laughs> all right guys okay i just washed it in the sink with uh soap and water just soap and stuff Gotta let it dry. I'll get the compressor out and dry it real quick. Or let's just use the air heat gun. I'll be very careful. I will care very carefully use the heat gun to, to dry it. <laughs> because this stuff is Kydex, it will shrink. I think if uh, if you get it too hot. So I'm trying not to get this hot. Oh yeah, well, I just use the low setting. Okay, we'll just let it air dry the rest of the time. All right, we'll just let it dry and then we'll go stick it. Okay, we're gonna go heat up the surface a little bit so it'll stick a little better. Okay, after, oh, let's, let me dry the. Okay, so we're gonna use the uh, alcohol pad that they gave you. All right, it's an alcohol wipe, 70% isopropyl alcohol All right okay. there's the wipe I'm gonna clean the surface any oils the soap should have got all of it but this will get you know if there's any other kind of residue on there it'll get it Okay. Let that dry. 
Okay, this alcohol should dry fast. Okay, I'm gonna heat up the surface. Just I'm just gonna warm it up just a little bit so it adheres better. All right. But the main thing we're gonna heat up is the adhesive, okay? So that should be good. Let's put that down there first. We're gonna put it with the Made in China logo facing up. I'm gonna take out the backing here. I don't know what that white stuff there. Okay. Should be super sticky stuff right there and we're gonna make it more sticky. The heat gun. Okay, oh, it's getting really hot. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. It's starting to bubble up a little bit, and then we'll just stick it on there. I'm trying to cover up all the holes as much as possible. I think right around there should be good. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect because we can rotate it with the ball and all that stuff. Okay, looks good. Just like that. Alright, now it says to wait for the adhesive to set for 24 hours. It's not perfect. It's, yeah, it's on there now. <laughs> it's a little bit, it's a little cockeyed like that, but that's okay. Okay, hopefully, hopefully no dirt gets in there and it gets in between, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, what I might want to do is to stuff that with something, like some paper or something, or cardboard. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is leave the, I'm going to put this on something flat and then I'm going to put a, a weight on it, alright, something heavy on it, and I'm going to let it sit for like 24 hours, alright guys, that's, I think that's what the instructions say. But before that, we can do a little test, alright, so here it is. So we would, we would just mount it, our phone would go on here, right, and it would mount like that, alright, pretty simple, and it won't come off, alright, it's like it's trying to come off, but it won't. Right, and then I just have to press one of these buttons and it should release it. Okay, just like that. Pretty simple. Okay. So yeah, before, okay. So that was just a test to show you guys what it's going to look like when it's done. But we have to wait for the adhesive to set first. Okay, okay. and it says here, for proper bond, wait 24 hours before use. Alright, the adapter is not intended to be reused. Okay, so, so yeah, um, we're going to let it sit for 24 hours. I'm going to put something heavy on it. Okay, never mind. We're not gonna. <laughs> we're gonna put out something plastic. All right, I gotta put it on top of this uh, this lid here. All right, and then I'm gonna. Oh, this is not gonna work because it's gonna bow it. Um, I'll find a flat. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's put it. Okay, I got this piece of laminate flooring. I'm gonna put it on, and then I'm gonna put a uh, two quart. This is two quart. Four, Forty-eight ounce uh, water bottle on top. All right, and that should put weight on it. All right. And we're going to leave it like that for 24 hours before we use it. Okay? So I'll see you guys in 24 hours. And we'll, I'll actually go use it. And then I'll let you know if it actually works. <laughs> so my, my hope is that um, it will provide a vibration dampening for the slip grip also. I've had these slip grips fail on me. And I, it's pretty, probably because of the Super Cubs vibrations too. Okay? So the vibrations damage the slip grip mount too. So um, with the vibration dampener... The slip grip should last longer, right? Because I've had them fail and then my phone falls off and I've almost lost or damaged my phone, okay? So, yeah, I don't want that happening, all right? But for the most part, um, yeah, it will add vibration dampening to my slip grip case, all right? All right, see you guys in 24 hours. All right, hey, hey, it's Mega here. It's the next night, all right? It's been more than 24 hours, actually, but there it is. It's so, uh, my water bottle's been sitting on it all day. And uh, I'm gonna take it out. So, there it is. so it's on there. I kind of did take a look at it earlier. All right, guys. There it is. It is on there, and I don't think it's coming out. I think what I'm gonna do is put some uh, electrical tape over the holes here, and then that'll be it. <laughs> Just so some, you know, dirt and stuff doesn't get okay. in there. Like I said, I put some uh, electrical tape over the holes there, so um, dirt don't get in and you know contaminate the. Uh, the um, adhesive all right and there it is it seems like it's pretty strong okay here's the mount okay there's the mount and I think it goes like that so I can pretty much just throw it on there and it'll just go on okay and then you can see the dampening 
Okay. Good. All right, there it is. Uh, let's compare it to the. We'll, we'll we'll do an actual comparison, like we'll we'll run the bike and see how much it vibrates with both mounts, because I actually have two of these slip grip mounts. Okay. But this is a slip grip mount with the peak design uh, mount that has the dampener on it. All right. So now it's a dampened slip grip mount. Hopefully the slip grip itself will last longer because it's you know it's not subject to so much vibrations and stuff anymore right I've had these fail like they crack and then this pops off um, sometimes they crack over here it's not the strongest stuff man but hopefully uh hopefully uh, the vibrations won't kill it <laughs> it's, it's, it's what I'm going okay. for. there's both uh, mounts side by side all right that's it from that way all right and this is the connecting joint that we'll be using it's a ram uh the small ram mount um i guess it's a small this is a small uh, ram arm all right so here's what the backs look like so obviously this is the one with the dampener on it but it's the same height pretty much if you look at them side by side so it's not going to add any height to it it is it is heavier i'll tell you that yeah, this one is this one has like one of those composite balls not the aluminum ones so this one is like uber light okay this one it's got some weight to it all right because it has all the mechanisms and stuff but for the most part we're probably never going to take it off of this thing man okay so there's uh what the backs look like Okay, this is just a regular ram uh it's a diamond ram ball mount and then this is the peak design dampening mount all right pretty cool uh, one thing i'm just worried about is that the um that the adhesive will come off all right um, because that's the only thing holding this on adhesive all right this one has uh this one has adhesive all right this this whole block here this is what's missing right here this is what's missing from the other one all right if you remember correctly it had fallen off all right so that's why i don't use this one anymore and i had another one okay and that's this one all right and this one is actually bolted on to this and it's also been glued down here so it's like this is not coming apart all right well apparently it did come apart <laughs> okay um what happened is i think the screws ripped right through this all right the vibrations killed it all right that's what i'm thinking all right, the vibrations killed the, the mount on that one. All right, so yeah, you can see how much this one moves around already. A lot. All right, it flexes a lot. This one, see, solid. Now, it does seem like the ball does provide some dampening too because there's rubber over it, okay? So anyway, all right, so um, let me go get the phone real quick. Okay, there's my phone, my LG V60. So the way it would go on is like that, okay? Now, I could, if I wanted to, press the button here, take the whole slip grip out with the phone on it, all right? But there's kind of no point to that, all right? But it goes back on, on and off, very easily. If I did want to do that, I could, but all I have to do is take the phone off the slip grip, okay? Um, ideally, yeah, I would want, I would rather not have the slip grip, all right? I would rather have this, on my phone all right but it won't work on the mount that's on my RAV4 okay okay anyway uh, we're gonna go test it out all right so I'm gonna go uh, install these on the RAV4 and you guys will get to see what it looks like all right um, when it's run when it's idling all right good so when this when the Super Cub is idling and cold it vibrates a whole lot right so you guys will get to see it all right so the first one we will try is this one right the the OG mount right just with the regular ram ball on it okay and this is how it goes it goes like this all right stick it on there tighten it okay tighten it as tight as i can make it i am going to sit on the bike all right guys I'm gonna sit on the bike and fire it up, and then you guys can take a look from the side here. Okay, I'll fire it up. I'll this thing.
it vibrating? Yeah, it's vibrating. Quite a bit. Yeah, there's my lock screen. So you can see, you can see the screen is vibrating, man. The text and stuff that's on the screen, it vibrates. Peak design, and as you see, it uh, it moves a whole lot. Look at that. Yeah, it moves a lot, guys. <laughs> All right, it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's like it's like jello. Okay, I hope it doesn't come apart, man. <laughs> that's all. I'm, that's what I'm hoping. All right. Okay, we're gonna fire it up. Okay, can you feel it? It's definitely not vibrating as much, but it's still vibrating. I can see, I can see the reflection off of the phone. It vibrates, so it doesn't cancel out all the vibrations. Like, let me turn this screen off. There you go. So you, you can see the uh, look at the uh, look at the reflections. Man, it moves a lot, dude. Is that normal? <laughs> and it, it feels like it sags a lot too, man. It just kind of feels like it's sagging a bit. Maybe I gotta push it back or something. It's probably better in a up position, like forward position like this. It looks like it's helping. How much, I don't know, but it makes the screen move around a whole lot. Let's so let's try operating the device. Okay. I'm gonna go to my DoorDash app. Just go around. Okay. Yeah, you know, operating the device doesn't seem that much different, is what I'm gonna say. You guys can see my ratings. I gotta work on my acceptance rate. Okay. It definitely is getting some vi There definitely is some vibrations, guys, all right? So, but it hopefully it's canceling out most of the vibrations, so. Okay, anyway, so uh, yeah, that is the uh, Peak Design uh, anti-vibration mount all right guys um it's kind of odd it, it flops around a whole lot is it like supposed to be like that is it supposed to be floppy around like that like yeah i kind of don't like how it flops around like that um but yeah well so we'll have to i'll have to go uh, test it out on doing some doordash and stuff riding around um but uh, and the the true test will be to see how long the new camera module will last, all right? So like I mentioned, my last camera module lasted two months and then it broke again, <laughs> okay? Um, I haven't installed a new one yet, but now we can, okay? And we will be using this mount from now on, okay? This one will just kind of be a backup, I guess. My old one. All right, but yeah, this will definitely be for the bike only, okay? And removing it and installing it, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like it, it flops around a whole lot. Okay. Yeah, it flops around a lot. I kind of don't like it. I was hoping it would be more solid than that, man, but it's like jello. Look, it, it moves around a lot. It still moves around a lot. <laughs> I could feel it. Yeah, yeah. Look, it just, it's, I feel like it's too loose. 
maybe it's just for for a phone this big maybe it's not this phone is pretty heavy guys so i don't know but hopefully our camera will last longer all right that'll be the true test um if this thing will last more than two months all right now <laughs> without breaking the camera all right so uh thanks for watching i will uh, uh after this clip i will go take it out and field test it all right uh doing doordash and then uh in the next clip all right right after this i'll let you know uh my thoughts about it okay um after having written it okay, wrote, wrote it okay but yeah this is just a kind of back-to-back -back test with uh with this guy all right and you could definitely tell this one vibrates a lot so because this one is much more solid all right this one not so much but yeah we'll have to see all right um uh, so some of the stuff i'll be looking for is if uh when when i go like high speeds on this bike this starts actually moving back okay i don't like that hopefully that'll pr the vibration dampening will prevent that okay Look at how much it moves. It moves so much it hits the, my USB thing. It's kind of annoying. Right? Well, we're going to have to get it adjusted the right way. And it will actually, we could test it out on this bike, the Redshift. But the Redshift is super smooth. Like, I don't really need, um, I don't really need a vib anti-vibration mount for that. But yeah, we can put it. Um, that's what I want to try say. Okay, yeah, anyway, in the next clip, uh, I will let you know how it does after a DoorDash, okay? All right, and what I think about it. All right, here's Mega. I paid 80 bucks for this. Hopefully, it'll be worth it. All right, hey, here's Mega here, and so um, this is just some final, uh, the final clip for the uh, Peak Design uh, phone mount, all right, the anti-vibration dealie. All right, I've got it installed on my Super Cub right now, and these are just some things I've observed while I've had it on both of these bikes, okay? Um, your phone, all right, let me go get my phone here. <laughs> all right, it just goes on there like that, right? And then, um, yeah, so it bobbles around a lot, man. It is it is weird, all right? Um, whether or not that helps with the vibrations and stuff, I'm not sure, okay? But it, um, it seems like it's doing its job, but it seems really floppy. It flops around a whole lot. All right, at least the way I've got it set up. All right, but uh, the only time will tell to see how long this camera work, um, lasts. All right, like I said, my last camera lasted two months, and I pretty much DoorDash every day. Okay, and the, I think this is the bike that's killing. All right, because this one vibrates so much. So I've been riding with it, and it seems okay so far. We'll see how long it lasts, type of thing. But yeah, you can see how floppy it is. Um, you can't. So the way I have it set up right now is you cannot really move it, all right? You can't you can't adjust the screen, all right, or the mount. Um, you want to hold the ball, all right, the actual ball behind it, okay? You want to move it like that, okay? Okay, don't, um, before I just used to use to just grip this thing and just move it around, but you can't do that anymore, all right? Because it's, it's got the dampener on it. I mean, I guess you could, but it might mess up the... The dampening system so don't do it <laughs> okay and yeah what i've noticed is like yeah when when it hits a bump it'll go one way and then like yeah there's like a limit to how far it's gonna it's gonna like move and stuff all right and i feel it it would be better with more dampening i feel like it just kind of it flops around a little too much maybe if the dampeners were more stiff but yeah that's what i'm gonna say all right, but it, yeah, it feels like it's like really jello, man. But hopefully, I mean, hopefully it it works. We'll find out. Um, touching the screen is okay. Okay, not too bad. So, um, so so far so good. I want to say I've been riding with it a couple days, and I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and uh, I haven't had any problems with the phone falling off or anything. Thank goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, I did notice, uh, I think this ball is worn out, so this one, it moves a lot on this. So. And that's not the fault of the mount, it's the, it's the ram, the ram ball is like worn out on this, on this mount right here, so. Okay, so, so yeah, so that's my little, my little review of it. Um, it works, it works good, it works just like it did before pretty much, but yeah, it has the vi anti-vibration dampening feature now, okay. And it's, it's, like I said, it's a little odd, it freaking bobbles around okay <laughs> it's like your phone has turned into like one of those bobblehead dolls or type of thing all right but hopefully it will 
protect your phone phone especially the camera from any damage from vibration okay so all right so that's uh that's the end of my uh my peak design uh show and tell vlog i hope this was a uh, educational and informative and entertaining thanks for watching hey it's miguel